So, hello and uh, welcome to the next video of this series. Uh, we'll be looking at probably the last server that we're going to be using. This one is a Dell PowerEdge 2850. It's the most recent one I've bought so far. And it's also, I think, the most powerful. Uh, so we'll take the front bezel off and have a look. Here we have six hot swappable drives, and I think they're all 72, no, 73 gigabytes, and they're running at 15,000 RPM each. They're all 80 pin SCSI. Um, you can see there you've got a VGA and two USB connectors for the front panel. Uh, power switch and a diagnostics LCD screen I think I don't know I can't remember what they're called but each server has one of them so if there's something wrong it'll start flashing orange and as before and on the other server these things just pull out like that So, we'll take the top off and have a look inside. Let's undo the screws. This one has um, two processors in it. And it can also run RAID. It's got uh, a RAID key and I think it's RAID memory or something, whatever it is. And you can see this one has both SCSI cables so that you can have all of the hard drive slots populated. Um, I've got a little bit of a different design for the hot swappable fans here. These ones pull up like that. And we've also got a airflow shroud here, which just comes off like that, and directs the airflow. And there's currently uh, two gigabytes of DDR2 RAM in here, I think. Uh, there aren't any expansion slots. But that's the RAID memory, and that there is the RAID key. Without them two components, you cannot run RAID. I think it does uh, RAID 0, RAID 1, and RAID 5, which I've come across so far. And again, you can pull out the PCI expansion riser card DVD. I'll pull out this fan here so I can undo the. SCSI cables from the expansion card. These are really hard to undo because sometimes the clips don't always comply. And go. There we go. Now you can see that's what the PCI. Riser card looks like. We've got three slots there, uh, two heat sinks, a logic board, or chip, whatever that does, I can't remember. They're the two SCSI connectors, and this is the RAID battery. Yeah, you can see it's attached there. And uh, that's the memory for the RAID. Here we have uh, two Intel Xeon dual core processors. They both run at uh, three gigahertz, I think. Um, and the last thing is here we have two power supplies. They're both hot swappable. 
as the ones previously. And just pull out like that. Slot back in again. Come on. It's not pushed in properly on. There we go. And the back ports, you have a uh, serial VGA keyboard and mouse. That button there, each one of the servers comes with these. If you press it, it flashes so that when you've got a rack full of servers, you can select which one you want and then you can go behind the server rack and find out exactly which server you want to get hold of and you won't end up pulling out the wrong plugs of the wrong server which is really useful uh, two gigabyte ethernet ports and two USB ports so um, as I have done with the other servers I'll put everything back together and uh, we'll turn it on Right, time to turn the thing on. We'll just plug these in here. You can see there the orange light is on. It's just when it's orange, it's normally warning you about something. I think we can demonstrate here the blue light. Blue light means everything is okay. And then if you press the button, it starts flashing. Flash. There we go. See, it starts flashing. Now, if we go to the front of the server, the uh, blue LCD screen there starts flashing. And then you've got the bezel one. You can see now that the uh, bezel starts flashing so you know which server it is that you want to have a look at. All the uh, hard drives light up with um, a green light so they're on and then the next light above them will mean that uh, they're being used and there you can see the Oh, you can't see it because it's so bright, but that's telling you information about the server. And, uh, hopefully, you can illustrate if you take out one of these plugs. Like oh, it's still working. Even if I take it out like this. And what's good about these ones is, um, even though I've taken the plug out, the fan still works. So the fans are still pulling air through the server. Normally that should go orange, but I can't remember. Okay, so I think that's the end of this video. Um, So I think this is the end of the video. I do have another server. That one doesn't really work. Um, the firmware on the uh, SCSI backplate isn't picking up the hard drive, so it's effectively useless at the moment. It's only a Dell PowerEdge 2650, which is like the one before this one. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Um, I think the next video will have a look at what's inside a network switch. I've always wondered what's inside of them, so let's have a look. I'll see you guys in the next tutorial.